Hey, what is going on you guys? I am back today with another video and today I'm gonna to be addressing one of the biggest questions in the car community and that is, which is better, import or muscle car? And before I go over the pros and cons of each one, I just wanna say that I have driven many different muscle cars, many different imports. I worked at a dealership for a long time. I've driven probably hundreds of them uh, and I have to say, I like things about both of them. I'm not very biased on the topic, but I'd have to say my favorite import of all time that I've driven is the Nissan 370Z and my favorite muscle car I've driven all time would probably have to be the Hellcat or the Corvette. Um, pretty amazing vehicles too. Okay, so typically how I look at it is imports will last you longer and muscle cars will go faster. As a general rule, you know, Japanese vehicles are much more reliable than American vehicles. I mean, a lot of people will debate about that. Okay, so to put this in perspective, a 2020 Dodge Grand Caravan has about 285 horsepower and a 2020 Honda Civic has about 160 horsepower. Now, in my opinion, the Honda is gonna last a lot longer, but it's kind of ludicrous that that a van of the same year has more horsepower than, you know, a sedan. And if we look at a vehicle like the SRT Hellcat, the engine is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 and a vehicle like the 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo has about 600 horsepower. To be honest, a race between the two would be really interesting to see, but as a general rule, American vehicles do have more horsepower, bigger engines, um, they're gas guzzlers as a rule. In my experience, vehicles like the Dodge Challenger, it kind of feels like you're driving a boat. Uh, same thing with the Charger, but it's cool because you have five seats, you know, you can take the whole family to the track. It's kind of cool. Whereas with an import, you know, you see a lot more two-seaters, that kind of thing. I have to say though, I do really like muscle cars because without even doing any work to it, you know, most of them have a V8, uh, rear wheel drive, lots of fun, pretty fast. Whereas with an import, if you're buying something a little older, you know, most of them are a four cylinder, six cylinder. And as a general rule, you do have to put quite a bit of money into them to make them fast. But if you were to look at the two and decide which one you were gonna buy, honestly, it would really depend on what you were gonna do with it. If you just wanna race in a straight line, I would say muscle car all day. Day. Um, you know, unless you get something like the GTR with all wheel drive. But if you were gonna be doing something like drifting, I would definitely go with something like an RX-7 or an R34 uh, any day. There's also some imports like the Mazda Miata that are really not built to go fast. They're built to do cornering really well. They're built to drift and they're really fun cars as well. It honestly just depends what you're in the market for and what you enjoy doing. I will say though, if you're not very mechanically inclined and you just want something that's plug and play, I would just get a muscle car to be honest. If you're fine paying for the gas, if you do like tuning and all the handling stuff, I would probably go for an import. Um, like I said, you know, most imports aren't gonna have as much power as a muscle car, but with the muscle car, it feels like you're driving a boat, basically. But like I said, if you don't have a ton of money to spend and you want something relatively fast, I would just get an American vehicle. I would get something like an older Camaro, an older Mustang. Those are always great choices. And that is just a few of my thoughts about the subject. I think that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like imports? you guys like muscle cars, I'd really like to know. Um, like and subscribe if you have not already as I post weekly. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.